Hello and welcome to Rusty Speechless. Today's video is going to have a skin combo video and today's going to be streetwear Yuji Itadori. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be an ever skin combo video. Today's skin is going to be streetwear Yuji Itadori, and this video was suggested by A underscore Sav G underscore 1231. Thank you very much for the video suggestion. And they said, Hi, I'm back again. And sorry for asking, but can you make combos for both Yuji Itadori skins? If you have them, I'm struggling to make combos with both. I made combos with the ever Yuji skin yesterday, which is just Yuji Itadori. So I thought I'd get combos done for this skin today. And this skin is a part of the Jujutsu Kaisen set in Susan Chat 4 Season 3 and could be obtained in the Breakthrough Curse event if you gained enough cursed energy and had a premium pass or premium tier, which was a thousand V Bucks similar to this season with the TMNT. You'd have this skin and the Ever skin. You could also buy it in the item shop for 1,500 V Bucks just for the skin, or you could buy the bundle, which is a UG Itadori bundle for 1,900. Let's get into the first combo. First combo is back bling, it's a red fiend back bling. Which is the Crimson Crest, part of the Order of the Waning Moon set. In Susan Chapter 3, Season 1's Battle Pass. And I'm just using a red design, which is the standard colour, which is Crimson Crest. Pickaxe is the Demon Slayer Blade, part of the Hagiri set. In Susan Chapter 2, Season 8's Battle Pass. And this is Charlotte's Pickaxe from that season. If you don't have this pickaxe, you can use the Michonne's Katana instead, which work nicely. I thought I'd switch up the glider from yesterday's video. I thought I'd go with the Shirogoki, which is part of the Cypher PK set. Introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. Works very nicely for the red design. Pretty cool glider. And it didn't, wasn't... When the Cypher PK skin first came out, it wasn't out. And this came out later on, which you could pick up. And I really do like this glider a lot. Probably one of my favourite Icon Series ones. And the star I'm using is just a standard Shirogoki. Contrail is the same as yesterday's video, which is glitching the system. Using it for the red design. This was introduced in Chapter 1, Season 5's Battle Pass. And the first red wrap I decided to go with is the red line, which was introduced in Chapter 1 of Season 9. The reason I decided to go with it is for the white and the red. The red goes very nicely with the back bling, and then the white goes very nicely with the pickaxe. I guess the red does go nicely with a little bit of red on the skin itself. I guess like his trainers, it does work nicely. Let's move on to combo number 2 now. For this one, I thought I'd go with the hollow back as the back bling, which is part of the boundless set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. And this is the Cosmogio and Superhero Skins back bling, or one of the two back blings anyway. And the actual sticker I'm using is this one right here, which is, which is part of the Break the Cursed event. I'll quickly find the name. Oh, it's this one right here. It is the Cursed Llama. I was trying to use the Ever Jujutsu and Kaisen ones, but since they're animated, you can't use them, which kind of sucks. We're we not able to use our animated stickers yet, or we don't have a back bling that allows us to. So that's why I decided to use the Cursed Llama, which is a pretty cool sticker, to be fair. And basically, throughout the event, the llamas were, were cursed and basically looked exactly like this sticker. But either way, I'm using it for the Jujutsu Kaisen theme. Pickaxe. Is this one right here, which is Vision, which is an item shop pickaxe, part of the Uruguayus set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7, using it for black and blue design. Goes pretty nicely with the back bling. And then the web wrap is to combo with the back bling and the pickaxe as well for the black and blue design, which is a cursed energy flow, which is part of the Jiu Jitsu Kaisen set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 3. It's animated and, react animated and reactive. The web wrap was also a part of the Break the Curse event pass. Let's move on to combo number 3. Now, this one, I thought I'd use the back from the Inky Iri, the Inky Iri, which is part of the Voidlander set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1, using it for the black and blue design. Pickaxe is the Fanged Foresight, part of the Sight Beyond set. Introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1, and the star I'm using is just a standard, which is Fanged Foresight, to go with the actual back thing itself. I can't say I've used this pickaxe a lot, but it does go pretty nicely with the back bling, with the back bling and also with the skin. I just tried to switch up and didn't want to use as many of the same back as pickaxes and weapon wraps like I did yesterday. So I thought I'd try to switch up for combos. Wrap for this combo is this one right here. Which is Star Shine from the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass. And I'm using it mainly for the blue and blue and black design. Pretty cool looking weapon wrap. And it's 4's weapon wrap from that season. Part of the 4 set. Let's move on to combo number 4 now. For this one, I thought I'd use the Dark Grasp, which is part of the Hand of Malice set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. I decided to use this because it works very nicely with the Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen theme, and uh, there's basically quite a good back for it. It goes obviously very nicely with the theme of Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen. Pickaxe is the all-seeing side. For this one, you can either use the standard style, which is the black, or you can use a Ruby Red, and either one. I decided to go with the red, you can use the standard. And this pickaxe is a part of the Elemental Idol on set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1. This was from the Chapter 3 
So in chapter 3, season 3, not season 1. And it's from this chapter 3, season 3 level up quest pack. Which is a phantasmic level up quest pack. The web wrap for this combo is this one right here. Which is the ever Jujutsu Kaisen web wrap we have. Which is the Jujutsu Kaisen emblem. Part of the Jujutsu Kaisen set. Introduced in chapter 4, season 3. Using it for the black and red design. Let's move on to the next combo. Which is combo number 5. Now, I decided to use another red themed back bling. The one I'm using is the Piccolo's Demon Symbol. Part of the Dragon Ball set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. I'm using it, as I mentioned, for the red design. Pickaxe is the Kunai, part of the Naruto set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 8. I'm using it, or the style I'm using is the standard, which is Kunai, for the black and the red. You can also use Kunai black if you want the fully blacked out design. Let's move on to the wrap now, which is this one right here, which is the Akatsuki. Which is part of the Naruto set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3. I'm pretty sure the only way you could get this weapon wrap was doing the Nindo challenges. And it works very nicely with the anime theme of the combo, I guess you could say. Let's move on to combo number 6 now. For this one, probably my favourite combo from this video. The back thing I'm using is Cypher PKs, which is the Oni's Curse. Part of the Cypher PK set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. I'm using the reactivity off for the fully red design. Pickaxe is a Harley hitter. Part of the Gotham City set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. This is Harley Quinn's pickaxe. Probably one of my favourites, if not my favourite DC series pickaxe I own. It's definitely a tie between this one and the Catwoman's Grappling Claw. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here. Which is the Burn from this season's Bat Pass, which is introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1. This is Valeria's weapon wrap, one of Valeria's weapon wraps. And this is part of the Flame and Fortune set. Using it for the black and the red, and also on the actual weapon wrap itself. As you see, it has like pulsating red or pulsating um, fire. Coming up the red wrap, so that goes very nicely with the Oni's Curse. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number seven. For this one, I thought I'd use a Mark of the Slayer, which is part of the Ultra Nightmare set. Introduced to Chapter 4, Season 1's Battle Pass, and it's the Doom Slayer's backbone. Using it for the red design. Pickaxe is the Slaughter Demon, which is part of the Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen set. Introduced to Chapter 4, Season 3, and this is Yuji Itadori's Pickaxe. Weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here which is the Scavenger, part of the Storm Scavenger set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. I'm using it mainly for the red, black, and white design. The thing that I struggle the most with, with these skins in the Yuji Itadori and also the streetwear, Yuji Itadori is just the weapon wraps. I don't really have many weapon wraps that go nicely with the skin. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number 8 now. The back one I'm using is the, Yo is the Yoki, the Yoki Tote. Part of the ninjutsu set. Introduced in chapter 4, season 2. I've never ever used this backbling before. But I'm using it for the red and the black design. And the mask on the actual backbling itself is pretty cool. Pick the pickaxe is combat knife. Part of the future war set. Introduced in chapter 2, season 5. And this is Sarah Connor's pickaxe. I thought I'd use it. It's very clean. I can pickaxe. It goes nicely with the skin. And the weapon out for this combo is this one right here. Which is the shredded red. Part of the tooth and claw set. Introduced in chapter 3, season 4. I'm using it red and black designing it's a grey does work pretty nicely as well let's move on to the next combo which is second last combo now that's i'd go with the power pole as the back bling and the pickaxe and it's part of the dragon ball set in season chapter three season three works very nicely for the red design and this is sun goku's pickaxe the weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here which is like a fully vibrant or very colourful red which is ultra red in shooting chapter 1 season 7 as it's like a very glossy red it's basically oh, I'm using it for the red but the black does work nicely as well let's move on to the final street red Yuji Isidori skin combo now and for this one so I'd use a shield back bling I'd start go with the eternal shield part of the honor shining set in shooting chapter 2 season 3's battle pass and I'm using the ominous eternal shield color and i'm using super level on to give it a nice red and black design pickaxe is the murray massa blade part of the zero war set in season chapter three season three this is wolverine zero's pickaxe from the crew pack so if you have the wolverine zero skin you have his pickaxe then it works nicely for the black and red design but if you don't have this you can use any other pickaxe that's black and red themed would work nicely and then the final weapon wrap is this one right here which is the final eclipse part of the psionic eclipse set in shoes in chapter 4, season 4 was Battle Pass, and this is Kado Fawn's weapon wrap from that season, using it for the red, black, and white design. It also it's reactive as well, so it gives a little bit of blue design on it 
going throughout the game, I'm pretty sure, which is pretty cool. So that's all the streetwear Yuji Itadori skin combos done. Thank you once again, A underscore Sav G underscore 1,251 for the video suggestion. I really did enjoy getting combos done for the skin. I found it quite hard, as I mentioned, to get certain weapon maps and certain like back, back bling and pickaxes to combo with it. I tried my best to get the best I could. But either way, if you do have any other Fortnite-related videos you'd like to see, it could be, for example, skin, backlink, pickaxe, glider, slash umbrella, contra, or weapon app, or anything other Fortnite-related, always feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I was going to keep getting suggestions done until the new season comes up or any new item shop skins come out. I'm still currently working towards getting the Lady Gaga skin from the Fortnite Festival. I think I'm like maybe 3,000 Fortnite Festival points off it, which I'm not too far off. And obviously, when the new season does start, I'll start getting comments down for those skins straight away. But anyways, that's pretty decent.